Um, this pandemic has me furious because people are panicking. People are panicking and it's like every post-apocalyptic movie you've ever seen where it brings out the worst in people and people are selfishly hoarding um, the toilet paper. Like, why? Toilet paper isn't going to help you with the coronavirus. You don't get diarrhea. They got all the alcohol. They got all the hand sanitizers. And we we use that on a regular basis in the house anyway. Um, you know, to make sure, you know, just to be cleaner, more, more safer. We don't like getting colds. You know, we're dealing with, uh, you know, my daughter cleans up after the pets. You know, stuff like that. And uh, I use alcohol because it's... Um, if I just think, if I just see my dog scratching, I think there's a, a flea in the house since we have a problem with fleas on this property. And I just pour that everywhere because it kills uh, all the bed bugs, fleas, lice. It kills all of that stuff, uh, ticks. And so it's not, you know, I'll get a big bottle. When it finishes, I'll get another bottle. And you can't find that anywhere. And I'm just, why, why are people being so selfish? That's just really bugging the crap out of me. And if this has become a crisis, if this becomes an economic crisis, it's because people are panicking. Because the coronavirus, maybe more than half, I would say a good two thirds, if not more than that, three fourths have lived. And the only ones in danger are the older people who may have lung problems, they're, they're and people with immune systems that aren't that great. So why this this whole epidemic that's happening, this pandemic that's happening, is because people are panicking. And I think they're being very selfish by hoarding. And this had me in a bad mood for weeks because uh, I like to have a clean hiney and I couldn't find toilet paper. And my husband got up early and he was able to get two big packs and I, that, that's more than enough for us. Um, I have enough toilet paper. I have, well, I, we bought two big packs early in the month before people went crazy. And then we bought these two big packs and that should last us for a month. It is so wrong and unnecessary. And people fighting over toilet paper, people hoarding. I almost got into an argument or I went back and forth with, with, the, with the lady who worked at Dollar General. I'm trying to get toilet paper. You know, I'm stressed out because I want I want me and my family to be clean. I don't want to put paper towels, clog the toilet. Doing it with washcloths is kind of funky. You're going to have to put them in a bag and then wash them. It's just funky. I mean, if, if you got to do what you got to do, but it's just not right. So I'm just, I, I was trying to get some paper towels. I guess we could cut them. And I don't know. I was looking for regular uh, wipes. And um, I saw, I mean, I was looking at the dollar spot and I, I saw about five to uh, paper towels and I only took two roll two packages you know um, in the other store there must have been about 10 I only took two packages I I'm not gonna be selfish and so I saw some wipes and um, sometimes we we use that and some lady you know comes up to me that works there and says that doesn't have alcohol you know and I'm like I'm not worried about alcohol for my hands I just want to be able to clean my butt you know and at least I know that's flushable. And she was pissed and said, well, babies need to clean their butt too. And walked away. And I wasn't trying to hoard it. There was eight small packages and I took four, one for each of us. Um, I, you know, and, and she, she says, babies need to wipe their butt too, you know. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm just trying, I'm not trying to hoard here. I told her, I'm not hoarding. I'm just taking what I know my family's going to need. Oh, and she like was mad at me. She was watching me. She would follow me to the cashier. Meanwhile, there's people with their hands full of paper towels and stuff, you know? I mean, it's just, it, it's just brings out the worst in people. You've seen The Walking Dead. You've seen, you know, any, any movie, even that's post-apocalyptic. And it always brings out the worst in people. I think there was one called Blindness, where people went blind temporarily and... They didn't know it was temporary and they put them all in like a jail 
and they couldn't see they just left them to themselves so eventually even the guards got it and you know people blind people were trying to find their way to a supermarket just to get food and one lady who was immune got some food and they jumped her for the food you know and you know it just brings out the worst in people because people panic the truth is the coronavirus isn't doing all the damage in this country it's the people doing all the damage yes that's exactly it the people are the ones that are causing uh an economic crisis here um and i, I honestly believe sometimes the media and the government do it on purpose for whatever their agenda is and um some people think that it's because they want to take people's eyes off of Trump in a bad light, put them in a good light. But even China's already got it together. They've had less than 800 cases now. That the, It's dwindling down the people that are getting it. I don't know if they got a, a cure, but they got it together. And, you know, they've closed the borders. And now it's just, you got to get up. And it, I've, I've been going from place to place. I've been exhausted asking when do you restock these things? They said overnight we restock them, we open up at 8, and people rush in and grab them. Some places aren't limiting, some places are. And it just infuriates me. I'm not a morning person, and I'm, I'm good with Germex and alcohol for now, but I will need some by the end of the month. And you can't even get that on Amazon. It's like they, they're not going to be able to restock until April because people are just freaking out and panicking. And as soon as they get it in, I went to put, I found some alcohol. I went to put it in my cart and I went to go find some wipes or something. And when I went to go find some wipes, the alcohol was gone. And when I tried to put it back in my cart, sorry, we won't be restocking until April. So it's just been insane, and it's just people, are, oh, oh, these good people, some people went across two states, buying up all the dollar alcohol, all the dollar um, sanitizers, and then trying to sell it on eBay and, and Amazon for $70 a pop. Some people are selling yeah. toilet paper for $200 a pack. I mean, this is horrible how people can be so selfish, and I've never been that way. I've never been that way. I you know, Even when I'm looking for makeup, I don't go and buy out all the displays like some people do and then go on eBay and sell them for $100 for collection. You know, I always just got what I wanted. And if I wanted, if I said, oh, you know, I should have got this or that, I'll go back and get the other colors I didn't get. But I will not buy out the entire trade. I've never been that way. So even now, it's just infuriating. It is infuriating. Um... I got to, I, I was like stressing out, like how, you know, we need toilet paper. I go to Walmart, it, it, it was about maybe, I don't know, maybe 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night, and they were just restocking the toilet paper. I grabbed one large pack. I didn't go and try to grab a bunch. You know, it's just not right what people are doing. I'm just, just you know, expressing my <laughs> frustration. Somebody got mad and said, I can't believe... My friends are complaining. This is an epidemic. No, no. People are creating the epidemic with their hoarding and their selfishness and their panicking. Preach. Um, so, you know, um, I'm not afraid. I mean, I got a little nervous. I had some doctor's appointments and I see everybody wearing masks and, and I it, they, they were testing centers and my doctor warned me, but she didn't tell me that there was another waiting area. And uh, I was just freaking out. I, man, I was using Germex. I, I'm almost finished with, I, I went through everything I had to find my little Germexes and put them in my bag. And I was forget it throughout that whole clinic. I was just using Germex at every Germex station because I was freaking out. Oh my goodness. You know, uh, I, <clears throat> this was the waiting area that should have, she, she warned me, but she didn't tell me there was another waiting area. Supposedly diabetics are at risk. I don't know why. Something about that their immune systems aren't as good as other people. I don't know. But, I, you know, I've just been going, trying to find stuff little by little here and there. And, and my apartment is small. I got enough toilet paper, like I said, and more than a paper towel. So it lasts me for probably a month. But what's going to happen at the end of that month? You know, um, and like I said, by the, maybe by the end of the month, I might not have Germix anymore. And, I mean, it's just been, they've closed down all the stores. They've closed down the restaurants. They've closed down the schools. And I understand. They've closed down the churches, even. And I understand that that it's it's the 
the healthiest thing to do at the moment. But they're not allowed to close like um, hospitals and grocery stores because people need that stuff to live. And I, I couldn't believe when I went to HEB two weeks ago, I noticed that there was no toilet paper, no sanitizer, no alcohol. And then last week, there was nothing. There was, pra there was practically nothing at HEB. Um, I don't know what happened. They, they lessened their hours, and they just yeah. said, you got to be here first thing in the morning. So HEB is limiting it to two, um, two packages per person. My husband was able to get toilet paper, thank God. And when I was putting everything away, it's like, this apartment is too small to even hoard. You know, and I'm just... Right now, I'm, I'm okay. I'm not stressed because we have what we need for now, but I'm worried what happens when that's done, you know? And I just think that the people panicking is what's creating worse a worse situation than the actual uh, coronavirus. It's their panic that's making things worse for everybody else, you know? And the guys that went from state to state they got kicked off of amazon and one of them had to he had tens of thousands of dollars worth of stuff that he had to give away i don't know if they forced him to do that or what um but that's just dang selfish that is selfish it's not fair for everybody else so you're gonna hoard a year's worth of sanit sanitary you're gonna board yourself up in your house for how long did you have so much of that stuff I know so some people are working from home, some people are not, um, but it's not fair to the rest of us. We don't want to get the coronavirus either, but you bought up, you know, a thousand bottles of sanitizer and we can't get any. It's just not right. So like Target is limiting it to one, HEB is limiting it to two, I think. I'm not sure what Walmart does because they said that at eight o'clock everybody zooms in and fills up their cart with sanitizers and stuff. Why is there no limit to that? So I, I'm just expressing my frustration. I think people are being um, being selfish. And as a as a believer in the Bible, this could lead to a real apocalypse with this economic crisis. Um, so don't blame it on the coronavirus. You know, blame it on your own selfishness if you're one of those people doing that. That is not right. Um, so everything's closed between two to six weeks. What happens at the end of those two to six weeks? What happens in two to three weeks when I run out of stuff? What happens when things open again and there's just still no sanitizer? It's just not right. It's if you've seen post-apocalyptic movies, it just brings out the worst in people. You got bullies taking over, stealing, you know, there's a move, there's the containment, there's, um, I am legend. I am legend is not as bad because nobody mostly nobody survived that one but you know um i think i forgot i got the walking dead and there was one i, I forgot the road you know just see any post-apocalyptic movie uh and um you could see that that's what this reminds me of and it's not because of the virus it's because of people's selfishness they're panicking and they're being selfish um, so anyway, just wanted to express that because I was upset and, you know, just pray and, you know, look for old time remedies. Um, uh, I don't know if you guys follow Le Juan James, but his mom, her name is Le Mom James. And she was talking about old time remedies, but you can garlic and onion with some lemon and just warm water. That stuff, uh, you know, is really good, and that's an old-time remedy. And I couldn't even, I couldn't find practically nothing uh, at HEB. And so we were just trying to find stuff that w we could eat during the weekend. Most people took the more cheaper stuff, so we barely did a full grocery, and we still had a high grocery bill because we had to take the stuff that was more expensive, just looking for anything that we could eat during the week. So, um, yeah, that's just not right. Be, be kind. You know, look out for one another and don't be selfish, man. Don't be selfish. Think of other people. Um, you know, stop the hoarding. Stop the panic. Yes, be safe, but don't be selfish. Um, you know, if everybody would do that, there would be plenty of stuff for everybody in the stores. 
anyway okay i just had to express that and i did do some swatches i can't even remember of what because i've been so stressed out trying to take care of my family through this time um no more hospital appointments uh so everything's on the phone no more clinic appointments hospitals only for emergencies and so that's it it's not gonna be no i don't have to drive anywhere i think i'm gonna go start crazy I think uh, every every day or every other day I might just go off to get some air because I don't want to be inside cooped up for six weeks. So anyway, um, anyway, I will see you guys next week. Um, and uh, love you all and just stay safe. Mwah.